One of the most important things you could realize is that you're not alone. You're not the first to go through it. You're not going to be the last to go through it. And oftentimes it happens. You just, you feel like you're alone and you feel like it's only you and you're in your bubble. And, and I wish I had someone at that time who, who could just pull me aside and hey, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. So I wish I knew that. Just got to remember. Hold on to that fundamental quality of faith. Have faith that on the other side of your pain is something good. After about a month and a half of staying in that little apartment and cleaning, I got a phone call from the head coach of the team who cut me, the head coach of the Calgary Stampeders. He called me and he said, hey, I know we cut you, but I'd like you to come back. I said, okay, I appreciate that, coach. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll think about it. And he said, okay, great. I hung up the phone, and um, my dad said, you're going to do it, right? I said, no, I don't think so. I think I'm done with that. And he goes, what? I said, my gut tells me I'm done. He said, what are you going to do? I took a deep breath. I said, I'd like to get into the business. He said, what business? I said, the wrestling business. He says, you are throwing it all away. It is the worst mistake you will ever make. He said, you're ruining your career. I said, maybe I'll be no good. But I feel like in my heart, I have to do this. And I either need you to train me or need you to not train me. My dad rose to the occasion. I said, I'll trade. And it wound up being one of the greatest chapters in my life. 